Well, uh, here's the RS11 by um, Proto 1000 right out of the box. It's interesting. It, it has these um, what look like uh, giant uh, snow plows or um, cow catchers. But those are something that are, I guess, stabilized to keep it in the box. And you actually have to unscrew them and put on the uh, <clears throat> couplers. Now, I, I'm not going to turn it on again because it doesn't work. <clears throat> the only thing that happens is it lights up. So I don't want to risk it. What I suspect is it's been sitting in the box for way too long and that the uh, lubrication has uh, gelled or solidified. So I'm going to have to take it apart. Uh, try to do that later today. Can't do it right now. And uh, get to the bottom of it. It's a good thing I have the instruction sheet because it says uh, that there are two screws forward of the uh, fuel tank and then the body lifts right off. So hopefully I'll have access. I can try to manually spin the, um, the motor shaft using the uh, brass flywheels as the rollers kind of get a feel for where it's uh, gooped up or kinked and lubricate that. Um, and if I could just get it to, to move with lubrication and loosen it up, great. If not, then a deeper project. But hoping to avoid that. But I just can't get into it right now because I have to go on a little day trip somewhere. So unfortunately, this will be weighing on my mind. Can I revive this beautiful looking model? And again, I only left power on it for a few seconds because uh, I don't want to overheat and burn out the motor. So I, you know, it's a, it's a minuscule test and it's all I needed to see. Let's hope we can get it running later. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye for now.